Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to make up some special deer burger with bacon and Vidalia onion. So y'all stay tuned. Yeah, so today I got a big chunk of venison thawed out. My brother puts up. You know, he puts his venison up in like, I mean, head size pieces. You know, he doesn't have a lot of time when he's up there at camp, get it all packed up. And when he gets home, I guess he's really tired. He tosses it in the freezer in a Ziploc bag. Of course, it wants to freeze burn. So we would keep going through stuff he gives us and we're, we're thankful to have it. Um, but, you know, if it starts to see any little signs of freezer burn, that's when I have to take it out and do something with it. Uh, sure you, a lot of you guys if you're deer hunters been there done that Here is a whole Vidalia onion that I've run through the food processor. I put in a tablespoon, the last uh, second whizzed it with a tablespoon of kosher sea salt. I put it in a wire uh, strainer over a bowl and there's about a quarter cup of the onion juice that's come out of there. And we do this to, to, uh, to take that moisture out. You don't want your, uh, your burger to get soupy and I'll actually just kind of press it a little more with one of these uh, silicone spatulas and get as much of the water out of those onions. They've been sitting in there for about 20 minutes. You could leave them sitting there for probably a couple of hours, help even more. But you want it to be like a, you know, still have a little texture to it, but getting most of that moisture, moisture out of them. And it's still dripping, so we'll give it a few more minutes and then we're gonna incorporate that and mix this all together. I'm gonna hold off on the onions right now. I don't want to cr crush those down anymore. Because next uh, thing we need to do is just incorporate the bacon with the burger kind of evenly. Because we got to run this back through the grinder one more time to make it burger. Right now it's just kind of chopped <laughs> with that coarse plate. But that, that doing that first really, really helps um, get a consistent texture throughout your burger. So we got that all mixed up there now. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll start loading it back up on the grinder over here in about uh, balls like that and um, grind it down fine with the fine plate. All right, let's start running it through the second time. I usually can do this without my press by just kind of forming little small chunks with my fingers and letting them drop. We'll see how it goes today. If you're interested in this limb big bite grinder, you can find it right on our Amazon store. Yeah, we didn't get too far before we had to give her a little feed.
Uh, that smells awesome. I can't wait to start grilling those guys up. So we're going to do them on a sportsman's grill. I did get about, uh, I think we had about eight pounds. I got about maybe three pounds for dinner tonight and rest of it vacuum pack back in the freezer. Uh, so that'll be great for future, future projects. But uh, right now, let's go ahead and get the sportsman's grill ready. Hey, and I'm going to make some homemade uh, buns for those burgers also. All right, we're going to go out to the special rising room and look at the buns that are rising for the second time right now. They're right there in the Dutch oven <laughs> on top of the on top of the grill. Man, they smell awesome. They actually might be getting a little too hot right there. Ah, that's pretty fine. Optimal rising temperature, about 100 degrees. It's, uh, it's November here, but it's still freaking hot. So we got the Sportsman's Grill fired up and ready to go. Got our uh, burger seasoned. I got the damper door completely closed to start with here. Our burgers are nice and cold. We just oiled up that grill. Uh, we're gonna start them out nice and gentle because you know how burgers like to flare up, right? We're gonna try to prevent most of that. Go ahead, there's the two about half pound burgers. The deer bacon Vidalia onion burgers and man they smell great already a couple minutes they've been really calm little flame up but that's what makes this beautiful sear on the burgers and that's what we're looking for if you want to sear it on the outside juicy on the inside Okay, gonna need a nice hearty bun for this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and just slice these and I'm gonna butter them. And then uh, put them up on the grill real quick. It's gonna be a bun for our beautiful venison burgers. All right, let's get some butter on and I'll throw them on the grill. Alright guys, let's go ahead and assemble our beautiful venison Vidalia bacon burger. I'm going to do this. There's some of our uh, homemade 
buns that's sourdough sourdough bun really hearty some mayo on that guy right there coming right in with our burger on top there and then uh hit the top there with a little mayo also now i love me some pickles but build whatever you like for your burger there's some uh sliced dill pickle spears oh my god there's our top that's a mouthful right there for side we got sweet potato tots right straight off the camp stove over there with some hot grease again serve your favorite side with this that's a beautiful meal right there that we made completely from scratch including the burger and the bread there's no way you're eating that burger That's a nice burger. Unbelievable. So if you just got your deer out there, bow hunting season, or just hunting season, you wanna make something out of really good, and try this dish with the Vidalia onion, bacon, venison burger on some homemade bread. Can't get no better than that. That was a really great venison dish. One of the best I've had in quite a while. If you like what we're doing, please hit that like button right down there to subscribe to our channel. You can do it right here for another great Backwoods Corvette video. It's gonna be over there. And for a whole playlist of cooking on this sportsman's grill, it's gonna be right over there. We'll see you next time.